there is a story about Archimedes being asked by King Hiero to check that the king's new crown was indeed made of pure gold and not some mixture of gold and some other cheaper metal. And Archimedes is uh, supposed to have gone away and had a think uh, by having a bath and realised that when he got in the bath the water level rose. And he thought, ah, well if I could do that with the gold crown, I could measure the volume of the crown and I should be able to work out if it's made of gold or not. So we're going to take a look at a similar kind of principle in this flashcard. Pure gold has got a density of 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed and we're asked to check if a gold nugget is really made of pure gold. So we need to describe the apparatus, method and a calculation that would give us the density of the nugget and if it's 19.3 or thereabouts, we have a pretty good idea that it should be pure gold. But if it's less than that, then we would know that there was another metal in there that was lighter, that was less dense. Um, and so it would be an impure sample. So let's take a look at how we could do this. So first of all, apparatus, we need to have a balance. A digital balance would be would be just right and we would also need a displacement can a displacement can and we would fill that to the brim so it's ready to overflow filled with water and the displacement can looks a bit like this. So we've got water, which is filled up just so it's about to overflow down the spout. And we would also have a measuring cylinder here which is, has got a scale of volume, so we could measure the water that is displaced when we put the crown inside the displacement can. Okay, so we'd also need a measuring cylinder. The method we would use is in three parts. First of all, measure the mass of the nugget using the balance. Okay, so we would weigh the nugget and find out the mass in grams. In grams. Number two, we would place the nugget carefully into the displacement can. The nugget into the displacement can and collect the water that overflows and collect the displaced water. And thirdly, we would measure the volume of the water. Of the displaced water. By using the measuring cylinder. So once we've got those measurements and we may want to repeat this experiment two or three times and take an average, we would need to do a calculation. The calculation will use the equation that density is equal to the mass, that's going to be in grams, divided by the volume. And that would be perhaps in centimeters cubed. 
and a centimeter cubed is also a milliliter. So that's the equation we would use to measure the density of this so-called gold nugget and see whether it is in fact made of gold.